Good morning. Welcome to our last Come Dine With Me All Age. Now for this one, I thought I'd ask several people in our church family two questions. If you could have a meal with anyone in the entire universe, who would it be? Why? Let's see what they said. My family. Any of my three families, it's always fun to be with them. Lewis Hamilton, because I like to ask him how fast those cars can run. Liam Neeson, because he is my absolute favourite actor. Wumi Soji, back in Nigeria, because she's a good chef. Uh, William, William Wilberforce, because he made such an impact on uh, Christianity in this country at, when he was alive and in the politics and obviously uh, the abolition of slavery and the slave trade and all the other things they did like the RSPCA and things. Apostle Joshua Selman because he relates to everything I believe in spiritually. Oh, Batman because he's cool. Steve Harvey because he's very multi-talented very creative, very good at what he does, like he has so many businesses ongoing. Well I think my first choice would be my wife, but other than that, probably Caleb, my hero. He's the man who served the Lord wholeheartedly. My husband Shola, because it's been five months away from him now. Justin Bieber. Uh, because I really like his music and I'd like to ask him lots of questions about it. Well, lots of interesting answers there. Well, we've been looking at different people who had a meal with Jesus. And today we're looking at one of the last meals Jesus ever had. Luke tells us what happened. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of a vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Now that might sound quite familiar. And that's because every time we take communion, we remember this meal which Jesus had. And we do two things. We look back and we remember how Jesus died for us. But we look forward as well to a day when Jesus will come again and we'll be able to ourselves enjoy a feast with him. We may never get to have a meal with Batman or Liam Neeson or even Justin Bieber, uh, but we do know in the future though we don't know the exact date, that we'll be able to have a meal with Jesus.